Fright Night 2, this is the sequel to the remake. Initially I was watching this and it is the exact same plot. You took some people through the mineral mania and the first person they happen to see from their window is of course a female vampire. Okay. Who doesn't want to be left alone. Instead, this female vampire, later called uh, Elizabeth Bathory, has to bathe in, in blood in order to keep her youthful appearance. Nice, relatively historically accurate. And of course, there happens to be someone who's shooting Fright Night, a, a new guy who, of course, is Hunter of the Undead, who, of course, gets dragged along reluctantly. Man, it feels like I just finished watching this movie before, and it was the other Fright Night. And a lot of the same beats. If you watch uh, Fright Night, the, the remake, you will see certain things done almost step for step. The only real difference is in the first Fright Night the remake, you had a vampire who kind of wanted to be left alone. This one, this vampire is actively hunting because she's trying to maintain her youthful appearance. And she's trying to find a very specific virgin's blood to bathe in in order to not require her to do the bathing ever again. And it's pretty apparent who it is right off the bat. In fact, the synopsis even more or less tells. Like, oh, hey, three of the characters you're going to meet, two of them are kind of friends, and one's an ex-girlfriend. Man, she needs to bathe in the blood of a female virgin. Man, I wonder if it's going to be the only other one we've met in this entire film. And it's... You know, it's, it's got some moments that are pretty good, but the fact that the plot is so identical, with the only difference being the motivation of the vampire... It feels like, if you liked the, f the first remake, this one pretty good, acting's not as good, but it's a suitable sequel remake.